everyone. My name is Rachel and I am so excited to be able to walk alongside you this school year in Right Start Maths Level C. Before we get into what you can expect from these overview sessions of Level C, let me tell you a little bit about myself. I am Rachel and I have uh, I am a homeschooling mom of four children. I have graduated two so far, yay, and I have two more to go. So that means I have worked through level C four different times now. In addition, I have gone to homeschool conventions for Right Start Math for 13 years, actually, um, working on um, the table in the exhibit hall, as well as giving various workshops. I have also worked in Right Start Math's customer service department and have had a fabulous opportunity to work alongside Dr. Cotter, the author and founder of Right Start Math. It is a real pleasure to be able to walk through Level C with you this year. You are going to have a fabulous math year. So what can you expect by viewing these overview sessions? Well, each Sunday evening, a new overview video will be released, providing you with the overview of what will be covered that week and help you prepare to teach those lessons to your children. Uh, when many parents get that big, fabulous box from Right Start Math filled with all kinds of manipulatives, sometimes they can get a little overwhelmed. Rest assured, you will not use all of the manipulatives every single week. So each week during the session, I will share with you the manipulatives that you will use during that week. That way you can pull out what you need um, for that week and then put back any of the supplies you don't need. I will also share with you some highlights of the lessons and some things to watch out for as you're teaching. I will address some common pitfalls and provide you with encouragement along the way. By no means am I going to be able to share with you every situation that will occur in your homeschool. As with all curriculum, Right Start Math is written for the average student. Each family will need to make adjustments to the curriculum to fit their particular learners. For example, if you have a strong learner in your family, you may move quickly through some of the lessons. But if your child is a struggling learner, you may find that you may, may need more than one day to teach that lesson. As you get going through the year, you will see how your child progresses and where they might need a little extra time, and then you can make those adjustments along the way. There are 140 lessons in Level C, so if you plan to do four lessons a week, you can complete the entire level between Labor Day and Memorial Day with a Thanksgiving break and a Christmas or winter break. By planning on four days a week, that gives you that extra fifth day to spend more time on a lesson or lessons that your child might have struggled with through the week. But if you had a great week and you do not need that extra day for a lesson, you can then continue on to the next lesson or you can spend the day playing math card games that you've played throughout the week. If you are new to homeschooling or new to Right Start Math, uh, you will want to expect some kind of transition time. You will want to allow yourself and your child to adapt to a new process of learning. Right Start Math is a little bit different from most curriculum because it helps the child to understand the math material, not just memorize it. That means the curriculum, you, the curriculum will have you ask the child numerous questions and require your child to think and ponder those answers. So if your child is used to things processes, procedures being told to them, you might find a little bit of resistance at first. However, once you work through that little bump at first, you will see that your child is not only learning math so much better, but you will see that they will enjoy it so much more. Before we begin this school year together, I have some homework for you. <laughs> you didn't think I was going to do this, but I am. I'm giving you some homework. There are some sections at the beginning of level C. Um, which will be like before the table of contents. So if you have your lesson manual, get out the lesson manual, turn to the table of contents, and then turn a few pages before that. Um, that you'll, you're going to want to read through these pages before you start teaching lesson one. It will give you a better understanding of how to teach math, how your child learns best, and how Right Start Math works. There are three sections that I recommend you read. Um, the first one is uh, some general thoughts on teaching mathematics, and you'll find that on Roman numeral pages two and three. Another section I would like for you to read is Right Start Mathematics, which you'll find on Roman numeral page four. And then also the, the final one that uh, you should read in advance is the daily lesson, lessons, which is listed um, on page five, Roman numeral five. 
one more thing to know. We are here for you. If you come across something you don't understand, or if your child is struggling, or you just have concerns, do not hesitate to contact us. You can call us by phone at 888-272-3291, or you can email us at info, I-N-F-O, at rightstartmath.com. All of us who answer the phones or answer emails are moms just like you who have journeyed through the program with several children and have also worked with Dr. Cotter. If your question is a little beyond us, we will take it right on up to Dr. Cotter herself. This is going to be a fabulous year and I cannot wait to get started with you. In the meantime, enjoy the rest of your summer break and I am looking forward to meeting again with you to get an overview of lessons one through four in level C. Bye everybody.